So this tutorial is about the processes of coastal erosion, uh, of which there are four. Number one, hydraulic action or pressure. Number two, corrasion or abrasion. Number three, corrosion. And number four, attrition. Uh, a typical GCSE or A-level exam question would be to look at this photograph and identify which processes of erosion could be operating. So the first process is hydraulic action or pressure or power and this is the sheer force of the waves as they crash against the cliff face and the water enters the natural cracks, the crevices in the cliffs, forcing air into these cracks and the air that is forced into these cracks widen the cracks further. This increase in air pressure is called cavitation and this causes a weakening in the cliff which will eventually cause the cliff to collapse. The next process is corrasion or abrasion and this is all about the waves picking up beach material, pebbles, um, small boulders, as the swash comes into the cliff face. Uh, it will pick up this material and smash it or throw it against the cliff face and this happens mostly at high tide um, when the waves have got most power and energy to collect the pebbles and it acts as a sort of scraping effect or gouging effect on the, the cliff rock itself. Uh, number three, corrosion or solution. Um, this is the dissolving of the cliff face itself. Um, the, the, the cliff has to be soluble, so for example calcium in chalk or limestone can be dissolved by the sea which may have a very weak carbonic acid uh, within it. And finally, number four, attrition. This is not about eroding the cliff itself. This is about beach material, fragments of rock being eroded. And you can see from um, any beach that the pebbles are of different sizes and of different roundness. And this happens when a swash comes into the beach and causes the beach fragments to bounce off each other and they knock against each other so much over time that they become more rounded, um, smoother and smaller. This is the process of attrition. So let's have a recap. What have we learned? Uh, looking at this photograph, well, what processes are operating? We can see very clearly that the cliff is a, a limestone or, or chalk, so there's definitely a solution or corrosion operating here. We can see natural lines of weakness. Um, the horizontal ones are bedding planes and this gives an opportunity at high tide for the waves to uh, carry out hydraulic power, hydraulic action within these cracks weakening them. On the beach we can see some small boulders and some pebbles. These will be collected by the, the, the swash um, at high tide and thrown against the cliff face. Um, this process is corrasion or abrasion. And we can also assume, because we've got a variety of beach um, material, beach fragment sizes, um, varying from pebbles, um, small boulders and sand, um, that there is some kind of attrition process going on there. 